Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today I am going to tell you about BQ24780S AC DRV and BAT DRV function. See in multiple videos in my channel, multiple videos you are able to see uh, the working principle of BQ24780S and 781 the difference between those two and individual work of those two everything i already explained but today i'm not going to explain those things <coughs> today i'm going to explain the special cases when ac drive and bat drive is not there how first second and third mosfet will work hmm? usually see the bq24780 yes everyone says without ac drive the motherboard won't work discharging i see won't work see this is actually wrong concept hmm? without ac drive also this charging ic will work so how it will work that i'll explain okay see this first mosfet and second mosfet these two are connected to the ac drive ac drive and this one is connected to the battery drive right these gates once these first one two uh, gets the gate voltage then current will pass to the CLR correct this is the CLR okay I'll write down once again see this is the first second CLR and this one is battery side hmm? these two are connected with the AC drive AC DRV and this one is BAT DRV see the concept is here to get the voltage it's a 19 VB it may be 20 volts or 19.5 volts or 13 volts whatever it may be it depends on voltage what you will get here hmm? see in case of battery voltage it, you will get around 13 volts in case of AC voltage so you will get around 19 to 20 volts hmm? the main concept is this is the charging ic when this charging ic gives the ac drive then only this first and second mosfet will work and you will get the voltage here that simple thing that time it should be in off position correct when this one is off these two will be on okay when this one is on these two will be off this is the concept of this particular n channel MOSFET concepts okay correct see when this one is on you will get the battery voltage is here CLR when these two are on you will get the adapter voltage here and this should be in off position right so this is usually in any uh, motherboard you will get the same procedure everywhere okay now I am going to explain you without first MOSFET using second and drive and without these three MOSFETs, how this charging AC will work? Okay, some very few people knows this with second MOSFET and with drive uh, battery MOSFET, I mean uh, discharging MOSFET, it will work. That few people only knows, and multiple very very few people knows without these three how it will work. I'm really telling you, uh, you're really wondering without these three how charging AC will work. And what about the AC drive and battery concept? So let us check one by one. I'll tell you how without first MOSFET or without second and uh, without third MOSFET, how the AC drive and battery will work. This IC will work. Hmm? We'll check the schematic one by one. I'll show you how it will work. Here is the <coughs> BQ24780 charging IC circuit. See here first and second MOSFET and here is the third MOSFET. When AC adapter is connected, this IC will consider AC is connected. That time what it will do, it will turn on these two MOSFET by giving the AC drive voltage, right? What will be the voltage? It's more than 5 volts compared to source voltage. In case it is a 13 volts, then it will give plus 5 volts means here 18 volts usually 19 volts you will give <coughs> even 12 also sometimes in uh, with a case okay here uh, in case of 19 what it will give 24 or maximum 25 volts it will give 
through the CMSRC. Hmm? Once it gets the CMSRC, then AC drive will be 25 volts or 24 volts. At the time, this one will be in off condition. The same voltage it will give. What the battery voltage it has, so that voltage only it will give, not more than that. Because it, it should be in off condition, right? So that's why. So in case AC is disconnected, adapter is disconnected, that case, how it will work? It will turn off the AC drive and it will turn on the battery drive. That time battery drive, it will be in on position, then battery voltage goes to the CLR. This is the concept. Once CLR is active, this two is active, then it will recognize the current what current it has and here what current this battery has battery is connected or not all information it will get and it will do the process, uh, process and it gives the output to the host it will communicate with the host host in the sense it's IO and it will communicate and it gives the result of DC IADP pro chart uh, it's a uh, what is that it should be low P mon I discharge these all are the information it will collect and it gives when you will get the voltage in CLR. See the main point I am telling you when you get the current or voltage in CLR then this information goes to IO through communicating with SM bus. Right this is the concept. Now I am going to show you without first MOSFET without second MOSFET and third MOSFET how it will work. Hmm? See here is a schematic, it's a PU1 BQ24780S, correct. So in this AC drive concept is there and battery drive concept also is there. Where is the battery drive? Here, battery drive and bat SRC. See AC drive and uh, CMSRC both sh should be there, no? In that case, these two should be there. Hmm? But here one speciality is here two MOSFETs are not there. Only one MOSFET is giving the AC drive voltage, see. First MOSFET not there, it has connected to the diode. Second one is PQ17, that is the first one, okay. The current is passing VA1 to VA2 through this MOSFET. When the AC drive is on, when CMSRC and AC drive is on, that time this one will be on and here battery drive, that time it will make a off condition. Then the battery voltage will be here only and here adapter voltage you will get in the CLR okay now you got my point right see this is the CLR here battery drive means AC drive is working with only one MOSFET not two and please note down it's working only one MOSFET and here when it will be in off condition this should be in on when this one will be in off condition this should be in off con on condition okay so vice versa Hmm. So here you have seen the logic of AC drive with one MOSFET, not two. Okay. Now I'm going to show you without these three how it will work. See here, one more schematic is here. See, this one is BQ24780 SRU YSR YR. Okay, you can search in the net this particular schematic, you will get it, right? See, surely I am telling you this one doesn't have AC drive and bad drive. See, bad drive is zero and AC drive also zero. But of course, CMSRC should be there hmm, to recognize the input voltage. See, here AC drive is not there, then how first and two or second MOSFET will work in this? Hmm? In what concept it will work? So that's why I am telling you in general condition in any charging IC, not only this IC. Any charging IC should works with the AC OK or in some cases even that also not there. Hmm? It will works through the AC OK the information gives to the IO through SM bus. Right. The what are the things I told you know IADP, I discharge, everything will gives to the host but not AC drive. AC drive is only to boost and give the supply to N channel MOSFETs. But if you are using P channel, then 100% this concept won't work. In that case, bad drive and this one where is the bad drive, bad drive and AC drive should be in off condition means disconnection. See, how, then who will give this uh, concept to the first, second and bad drive, right? So that one I will tell you. See here is the CLR. CLR goes to some other uh, page 
and what the input input is here directly v reg 20 v region 20 see here is the 20 volts coming through this MOSFET uh, sorry this uh, resistors and it's giving the supply to this particular IC see VCC and CMSRC see many uh, people are getting confused about the CMSRC CMSRC is nothing but the VCC voltage okay it's a 19 voltage sometimes you will get 19 volts without uh, passing the main supply to uh, drain or source whatever it may be but the thing is logic is VCC is connected to the CMSRC internally or externally see here externally has shown here hmm? this is the concept once these two are active then AC drive is not active here because AC drive function is working with the P channels some other uh, IC okay what is that I'll show you so the main concept is once current comes here then it will recognize and gives the appropriate result to the high O that is the main concept here okay see now I'll tell you how it will work see here it's a DC jack right this one is DC in DC jack when you connect the DC jack 1 2 3 4 are positive and 5 6 7 8 are negative then here it's number 9 pin is the ID pin so that directly goes to the ID pin okay AC ID pin I'll reduce the size then you can able to see see AC DC ID okay then the positive will goes through this jumper and fuse finally it enters first MOSFET see first MOSFET is the opposite direction it opposite to source then it's a P channel see once again I'll repeat in case the diode is opposite to the what source that time this one will be P channel in case opposite to the drain that one will be N channel now P channel gate should be there how it will work see here it has connected to the multiple circuits logic circuits using this this one we can connect it see I'll uh, tell you only the gate concept not this other okay here gate is connected to the PR4 and finally it comes to the PR8 this one and two right R1 and R2 and this one should be ground here two possibilities are there one you can connect zero ohms and zero ohms here and here directly it connected to the ground then here voltage divider through this see 200k through this PR3 voltage will pass here and you will get the voltage divider concept right hmm? now no this one will be in that case this one will be r1 and this one will be r2 and then voltage divider from year to year you will get when this one will be in ground right so pr3 is r1 and pr8 is r2 in case these cell are not there see on the board these two are not there then the transistor and mosfet concept has given here the logic circuits has given see this voltage will come here where base emitter collector collector ha has uh, some uh, 19 or 18 volts okay here the voltage has to come right so from where you are getting see the main source this is the NPN transistor here you will get the voltage and this one should be in off condition in that case okay here there should not be discharge too okay then the supply will be there then it will be in on condition that time directly it will be in on means it's a collector to emitter will get connection and then here it's a minus power shutdown it means voltage should be there okay when you get the voltage here then this MOSFET will be in on condition then it will become ground right it's connected to the ground if this one is ground then this one is destination PR2 destination is connected to the ground and PR3 source is connected to the supply then voltage divider will happen the gate will be open okay this is the first case first MOSFET and here is connected to the second MOSFET when it's open the supply will come to the source of this particular MOSFET but you have to think about it here is the N channel MOSFET not P channel okay in N channel MOSFET also it's not connected the gate is not connected to the main charging IC okay here it has connected to the AC in drive from where it's coming it's coming from the think engine IC 
think engine IC. When I am going to explain this particular schematic, that time I will tell you what are the function of this think engine. Okay. So the AC drive is controlling this particular gate of the internal MOSFET. Means you will get 25 volts here. When you get the 25 volts here, you, the, it will be open and this current will come to the CLR. Okay. That is the concept here. See, once again, I'll repeat you. This gate voltage is PR. See, 100 ohms. It's uh, to avoid the interest voltage, so interest current. So this resistor is used here. Okay. Apart from that, it's a PR. 9 is 100k instead of 4.7 something 4.5k we are using right instead of that we are using here here it's a 0 ohms and directly it's controlling here this one is production uh, transistor pnp transistor and here it's a mosfet okay see this concept i'll explain in future now how this mosfet is getting on the mosfet is getting on through the think engine that is dc in drive so now you will get the PR2 voltage and finally you will get the uh, what is it voltage and charging IC will function and the, what are the information it has to collect that one will collect through the SM bus it will give us to the IO so this is the logic of first and second MOSFET and what about battery logic see here battery is connected here through fuse battery voltage will come what kind of MOSFET it is see opposite to the source that means it's a P channel MOSFET P channel is controlled by this voltage divider see it's M2 DRV this one also it's giving by the think engine okay think engine is controlling this voltage I mean uh, here this connection so once it becomes voltage divider means it should be in ground position right okay that one is controlled by think engine so when is the voltage divider is there through this resistor it will get will uh, I mean gate will get the voltage and finally the output it will open the battery voltage will pass through PR50 this one is CLR okay the third MOSFET this is the one third MOSFET PQ11 see uh, as per the second MOSFET here also the same logic here first one is P and second one is N channel because it's opposite direction to the drain so that's why it's a N channel here this N channel gate is controlled by what bat DRV R Hmm. bad drvr again it's from think engine here you will get 25 volts and then this one you will get finally v int 20 okay bad power here and the this one is battery side clr so like this now you got it right so like this without ac drive and bad drive the charging ic will function in this particular uh, motherboard means particular motherboards any motherboards if they are using this logic okay that's the reason the what is that thinkpad series are very famous the ibm innovating very 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 security system very advanced systems ibm really 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 it's a good one and uh, making very quality one and very protectable circuits because of that think engine so these lr we can control it hmm. now also it's very famous but controlled by the lenovo it uh, undertaken by lenovo so that's it so this is the concept of first ac drive and bad drive concept hmm. now you got it right it's a bq24780 will work with one two or three uh, N channel or only one first MOSFET N channel, second MOSFET N channel, I mean uh, uh, third one is N channel and only P channels, all three are P, then also this battery will work. Hmm? Just they want CLR voltages or current. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.